Hello everyone, my name is Rama Mumbo. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm actually going to be doing a user request in my Discord server. And we'll be making some sort of plant growth progression. And so this is part of a series where we will have complete watering system, plant dev, all sorts of stuff like uh, that to maintain your crops and grow your crops with seeds, stuff like that. So if you want to give me ideas for your next video, if you want help on a question, join my Discord down in the description. And also, let's get on with this video. Alright, so I have this very basic scene, which has a plane and a very basic first-person controller that I imported from the Unity Asset Store. And now I'll just be adding in the plants I want. So I'll go to my assets. I already have them ready, so I'll just go here. And I want the dirt pile. I want the carrot plant. And I want my eggplant. So keep in mind what you want is your progression of your plants. So I, right now I have three progression. First, I'll start off as a dirt pile with seeds. And then I'll go to this small kind of plant. And then I'll go into this bigger plant. So that's the progression I want. So obviously you can tweak this, changes for whatever crop you want. But you want to have some sort of progression, some sort of uh, the stages of the plant's growth. So now we can actually make this all into stages. So I'm going to rename them. I'm going to rename the dirt pile. So I'll select the dirt pile. I'll rename it to stage one. I'll rename the carrot plant to stage two. And I'll rename the eggplant stage three. So now let's put these all under one parent. That way we can actually set one of them active at each time and then increase the growth. So I'll right click and I'll create an empty object. I'll reset the position to zero, zero, and zero. I'll call it something like plant one. And then under it, I'll drag in order my stages. So stage one, stage two, and stage three. Perfect. And now I'll just zero out these as well. So I'll zero out all of the plants and I'll also actually I'll actually just kind of adjust this dirt pile because it's a little bit low for me so I'll just move up plant a tiny bit there you go that looks perfect to me so now if we hit play you'll notice that we see you know all of our plants, but we only want one of them to show at a time. So let's create a script that does that. But first, let's select each of our game objects, each of our stages, and set, and uh, disable their active so that they're not visible. And now let's go to our parent, which is plant one, add a component, and I'll call it something like plant growth. And for now, this will be very simple. We'll just be transitioning. We won't have to worry about depth of the plants, watering plants, and stuff like that. So now that the script has been made, I'll double click on it and open it up in Visual Studios. All right, so Visual Studios is loaded. And inside of our program, we want to have two variables that will store how far into the progression we are. For example, if we're into the third stage, the first stage, so private, so private int current progression, and I'll set it to something like zero. And then I'll also make another variable, but I'll make it public this time. And I'll set this to time between growth. So we want this to symbolize the amount of time it takes between the next progression. So then I'll create a new function below this, public void growth. And in this, I'll have a couple of if statements. And I'll be calling this function every, every time between growths. So we can actually do that using something called an invoke repeating. So I'll just do that right here, invoke repeating. And what an invoke repeating does 
is that it calls a function like growth a certain amount of times every few seconds or how much every time you want. So inside of these two, I'll put the name of the function. So we want growth. And then the next parameter we want the first time between the, the first growth. So I'll put that to time between growths. And next we want to put how much time between every other growth. So I'll also put time between growths. So now this function is being called every few seconds, every every time between growths. So we can do our code. And actually, I'll actually just make another integer called like int max growth. So this will represent the max stage it can reach. So the first I want to check if our current progression, if the stage we're at is not equal to the max. So if it's not equal to max growth, if it's not equal to max growth, then keep on growing. So we want to set our current game object that is under our child. So under plant, whichever one, whichever stage we're on, we want to set it to active. So we can do that too, through game object dot transform dot get child current progression dot game object dot set active true. Now the other case we could have is if our current progression is between zero and less than our max. So we can do if current progression is greater than zero and and current progression is less than max growth. In this case, we want to set, for example, say we're on stage two. We want to set stage two active, which we do here. We set it active. And then we also want to set stage one not active anymore. So we can just do game object dot transform dot get child current progression minus one because we're going for the one previous minus one dot game object dot set active false because we want to disable it. And lastly all we want to do is, if it's less than 3, if our current progression is less than our max. And when I say 3, I'm saying 3 because the max progression for us is 3. We only have 3 stages. 2, 3. So if current progression is less than uh, max growth, we want to just increase current progression. So I know this code is a little bit jank, but just what I did on the spot, so we'll roll with it. So now if we save this, we head into Unity, and on our plate, I mean on our plant, we can set the time between growth, so I'll set this to something like 2, and for max growth, this will be the amount of stages you have, so we have 3 stages, so I'll set it to that. And now if we hit play, it should uh, yep. Every two seconds, the plant is progressing. This is exactly what we want. In the next episode, we'll make it so that you need to be watering it every few seconds in order to continue the growth. Otherwise, the plant will die. And we can also implement a seed system to make that dirt patch and also implement other crops. So thank you for watching. I uh, hope this was helpful. And yeah, thanks for watching.